Hello folks, my name is Virat and welcome to another episode of Anything with Virat. So in this video, we'll discuss about the interview process of a data analyst in Canada. Now, before we start this video, I want to put a little disclaimer that this is the interview process according to my experience. Uh, till that, I gave around five or six interviews in five or six different companies and the interview process was more or less same. There was a difference in questioning. So I think there is a common interview practice in Canada, USA or India. And as I mentioned before, you may find some different question in during your interview. So without wasting our time, let's get started. Now, when you applied for this data analyst position and if they like your profile, then HR either contact you through call directly or maybe he or she send you email just to know your abilities for phone screening round. And for a phone screening round, I would say that a lot of people doesn't take this round seriously. But believe me, it's really easy to prepare for this round. Now, some of the common question you might face during this uh, phone screening interview uh, with HR is like, tell me about yourself. What thing in job description make you interested for this job? Uh, why you are looking for a new job if you are trying to switch from other job to, you know, this job? Or if you are fresher, they might ask you like why you are interested in this field and yeah, some kind of common question. And you can really prepare these questions in advance and you can use this answer in every other HR interview call. Now, if you pass through this uh, phone screening round successfully, then either you'll be facing technical round or non-technical round. And it's uh, completely depend upon the company. But here we first talk about non-technical round. Now, the purpose of this non-technical round is just to understand your business understanding and your behavior. Now, to understand your business understanding, they might ask you the questions like, suppose if you are new to the business, then they might ask you the question like, uh, what type you will take to understand the business first? And for a behavior round, they ask you the questions like, uh, tell me a time when you went above and beyond to finish your work, finish your task. Uh, tell me a time when you had a conflict with your colleagues and how did you resolve the colleagues? Um, tell me a time when you had an error in your database. How did you resolve the error in the database and something like that. And you can easily find those questions on the internet and you can easily prepare uh, in advance. Right. And one thing I notice here in Canada is that they will take this non-technical down really seriously. Like if you if you ask me to put uh, give the level then i will give i will say that it will be the same level as the technical round now for a technical round they may give you a take-home test uh, take-home test basically they give you some kind of database and you have to uh, prepare a report uh, using the insight that present in the database and you can use ms excel sql power bi or whatever tool you are comfortable with and you have to prepare the report and you have to sign this report within the deadline given by them. And if they won't give you a take home test, then they will ask you question on Zoom call or team call, whatever call they are using. And the technical question will be like, um, can you write simple SQL query? Can you join these two table? What's the difference between left join, what's the, uh, left join and right join? Uh, what's the significance of uh, delete function, what's the significance of insert, and this kind of question. And here in Canada, they will mostly ask you some practical question. Um, like, I still don't know like what, what is the meaning of DDL and DLD uh, because I, I never faced those kind of question here and I never prepared for those kind of questions. So yeah, here is the overview. So if you like this video, please make sure like and subscribe my channel and see you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.